you're listening to independent tv7 kindly click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel at independent tv7 also don't forget to click the bell icon to get more notification thanks for watching the harassment of uh, justice uh, mary odili although the attorney general of the federation and minister of justice uh, mr abubaka malami has denied that the federal government was behind the raid on the abuja official residence of justice mary ukego odili ni Izenwa of the supreme court it is not surprising that the incident has come up uh, during the tenure of president wamadu buhari uh, for the reason that in 2016 his government carried out early money exchange uh, operations at the residence of the chief justice of nigeria in abuja and some other uh, justices in the federal capital territory and other parts of the country the chief aim of the exercise was uh, to remove the uh, chief justice walter onogen from cross river state from office to pave way his succession by bauchi state born Justice Ibrahim Tanko Muhammad. A large sums of money were said to have been found in the homes of the judges. Uh, the second reason for the raids was to portray Southern uh, bond judges as corrupt and get some of them sacked. Uh, Magistrate Emmanuel Iyana, who granted the order for the search of Justice Odili's residence, said he was deceived to do so through misrepresentation of facts by two affidavits sworn by uh, a whistleblower named Mr. Aliyu Umaro and a senior police officer chief superintendent of police, Mr. Lawrence uh, Ajodo. Umaro, in his affidavit of October 13, 2021, claimed that the he had observed illegal activities going on in Justice Odili's residence and that all information provided by him to the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission EFCC are true and correct to the best of his knowledge. Based on the bogus allegation that did not give details of the illegal activities, CSP Ajodo acting on behalf of a panel which reportedly was made up of the officers of the Economic and Financial Crime Commission EFCC, the Nigerian Police and the Ministry of Justice also deposed to an affidavit and applied for a warrant to be issued for Justice Odili's uh, residence to be searched. Uh, the EFCC and the other agencies have also denied playing any part in the incident carried out unprofessionally from the story going round on the matter in uh, and it appears someone or people uh, I up in the federal government uh, uh, or Buhari's presidency are behind a the disgraceful action and it looks like uh, that they did they did so to stop Chief Justice Odili from being appointed uh, the Chief uh, Justice of uh, Nigeria uh, the story is that Chief Justice Tanku Mohammed who is to retire on December uh, 31 2023 when he will be 70 is not in good health and may withdraw from service before the end of the year or early in 2022. Mrs. Odili, an associate justice of the uh, Supreme Court who is next to him is to retire on May 12th uh, next year, which is uh, 2022. It is a known fact that President Buhari is still annoyed with the ego that all he received in any of the five states in the South East during the 2019 election was 5% of their votes. Consequently, um, it looks like it does not want Mrs. Odili, who is an Igbo from Imo State, to be appointed acting chief justice for a few months. Uh, I would say uh, Buhari uh, may have any hand in it or not, but Malami is a mastermind. Uh, the raid on our residence, uh, which is on the uh, residence of Odili, uh, gave the impression as a wrongdoing and why she was not uh, appointed or better still, uh, they needed to assassinate uh, Mary Odili so that she does not emerge as the Chief Justice of the Federation. Uh, it is also uh, like uh, the invasion of her home was also a designed uh, uh, thing by the ruling All Progressive Congress APC to embarrass her husband, a chieftain of the People's Democratic Party PDP, on his victory in court against EFCC on the release of his passport to him. I see it uh, in this way because the incident took place when the PDP convention to elect uh, its chairman and other officers was in Abuja. 
the next judge after Justice Odili is Associate Justice Olukayade Ariwola, uh, who will retire in about seven years on August 20, 20, uh, 22, 2028, uh, when he will be 70. He is followed by Associate Justice Musa Datijo uh, Mohammed, who will retire on October 27. 2023 and Lagos State Born Associate Justice Kudirat K. K. Re Ekun, who will be 70 on May 7, 2028. Uh, we wait to see if Chief Justice Tanko Mohammed retires uh, prematurely, if seniority will make President Buhari replace him with a uh, Southern uh, Born Justice Olukare Hariwala from Isai in Oyo State, or if he, is, he, he prefers uh, and his preference for Northern is his most senior. Uh, and the crucial appointment he had made in the last six years will make him choose Justice Musa Mohammed from Niger State. We also wait to see if Umaru, the whistleblower, and CSP Ajodo will be arrested and prosecuted for the crime they have committed. If in the end they are not arraigned for trial, that means that in spite of the denials from senior official officers in the Ministry of Justice, EFCC, or uh, in the presidency were involved in the disgraceful and uh, embarrassing invasion of justice Odili's residence yes it's all speak a whole lot of volume yes let's see if justice will prevail or uh, Buhari and his uh, presidency uh, will do the needful mm, yes misuse of his imperial majesty by some Yoruba kings or some uh, uh, northern king or some Igbo king or some Fulani kings let's see uh, how uh, they that call themselves uh, 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 the leaders. Mm, I don't know if they are Igbo, Ausa, or Fulani, but as it is, we have so many of them unmerited uh, 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 position that they occupied. Uh, the trend started in 1981 or 82 uh, when Oba uh, Okwade uh, uh, according to a comment, somebody is referring to how uh, the coup has started. Maybe it's correct or not. Uh, we don't know, but the basic truth is that uh, he who have ears, let him hear. Then he who uh, uh, that is doing uh, good, let him continue to do good. Because as it is, a uh, nemesis uh, uh, is just uh, like a uh, uh, six, seven letter word. But as it is, uh, it's uh, uh, so very, very uh, deadly. Uh, when the time comes, you shall, you know, separate the shaft uh, from the uh, grains. Or you separate the grains from the shaft. Uh, so the Fulani uh, bigot or the Fulani political bigot are scared of a 2023 election. I don't know why, mm, as it is, as uh, the Igbo counterparts have been, you know, clamoring for secession. The Yoruba nation clamoring for secession just due to uh, these uh, atrocities that has been committed by uh, this so called uh, APC. Uh, administration led by uh, President Mahmoudou Buhari. Yes, we still are uh, uh, applaud, applauding with presidency or being president. But uh, to, uh, to the serious part of it is that President Mahmoudou Buhari is incompetent. Well, it has been said medically that he is incoherent and has a dementia. What does that really mean? Uh, I would like you to take your uh, dictionary and check what that simply means. But what I know is that uh, you being nepotistic or be being geno genocidic, uh, whatever way uh, you may want to run your government, I mean, you, Buhari, uh, nemesis is what uh, may catch up on you. Well, as for Malami, let's watch and see. Uh, maybe he will be sacked, or maybe those that perpetrated that evil uh, by invading Odili's house will be uh, arrested. Uh, let's, uh, let's watch and see. Uh, <clears throat>